The MSR Shop Viewers Filter is a helpful tool that helps you find and select the information that's important for you amongst all the data measured. This video will show you how to use the filter tool. To have a better view on what the filter does, let's select the whole measurement period in the overview window and dock the shocks panel to the right side of the window. The shocks panel displays now a list of all measured shock events. Now open the filter builder by clicking on its icon in the filter group of the command bar. Let's say that we are only interested in shocks where the acceleration forces were greater than 10g. To define this filter criteria, add a condition to the filter builder by either pressing the wide self-explanatory button or by clicking on filter and selecting add condition. A row is added that contains the unit to be filtered an operator that says equals, and an empty placeholder for the value. To complete our example, click on equals and select is greater than or equal to. Then, click on the empty placeholder and write 10. We have now a simple filter. Click the OK button to apply the filter and close the filter builder. The shock events chart, as well as the shocks panel, only displays the shocks fulfilling the filter criteria. The applied criteria is shown in the title bar of the shocks panel. The filter active icon in the command bar is selected, which means that filtering is applied. A click on it removes the filter. Let's reapply the filter by clicking on the filter icon. Open the filter builder again. We will now add more filter conditions in order to better understand how the filter builder works. As an example, we want to find all events with a minimum acceleration of 10g that have either a DBC of minimum 45,000 or an intensity of minimum 200,000. The 10g condition is already set in the filter builder. To add the two other conditions, we need to add a new group of conditions within which the conditions are evaluated with an OR operator. To do so, start by clicking on the second node and choose Add Group. A third node is added that represents a group of conditions, and a fourth node that represents the first condition of this group. Click on the AND operator of the third line and change it to OR since that's the correct operator to apply to the conditions of the following group. Then, define the condition for the DBC value and click the Apply button to check whether the filter works so far. Add a new condition for the intensity criteria. Finally, click the Apply button to see the result. Once the filter builder is understood, the definition of filters becomes an easy task. Note that you may save your filters for later use by clicking the Save As button of the filter builder. It is important to know that filtering not only applies to the data you see in the application, but also to the data export that's accessible via the export icon on the command bar. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR Shop Viewers features.